All right, on tonight's episode of Python Poppy, we're back inside our generative AI course, and we're still working on the final touches of our project. Let's have a look at what we went over tonight. Yesterday, I informed you that we were going to have to actually download the repository or clone repository from the instructor's GitHub so we can actually have access to it and uh, clone it to our own. So let me show you that we actually did that already. So we did that here. Let me uh, pull it up for you. So here's the uh, GitHub here. You can see I have the file here. So what I did was I downloaded the zip and then I uh, unzipped it in my own laptop and then I just uh, transferred the files over to my GitHub. So this is everything here. Now, I actually went ahead and uh, started the AWS web service. So finally, it took about an hour and a half to two to actually get that done. But as you can see, we are inside. But it took a long time because there were hiccups. When I was trying to actually verify the AWS account, it was, it was putting a block on it somehow, some way, saying that the, uh, the file I was trying to import over had a, a secret key block on it because the instructor still had a secret keys inside the file. So every time I tried to bring it over, it was a uh, give me a denied request. So I had to track down the secret keys in his module, in this, uh, in this whole file that I brought over. I had to track down the secret keys, delete it, and then go again. And once I did that, then it was a whole nother set of hiccups that I had to get over and get through. But of course, we finally got it done. We got it through. It's not even nighttime yet. It's still midday, but it's been a long day already. So I'm just going to leave it there for now. Like I said, so we successfully downloaded the, the, uh, mcq generator main here and these are all the files we're going to need here now i did some updating i replaced some of the information that he had with some of my own information of course that may throw errors some along somewhere along the way but yeah as you can see i brought my own data over as opposed to using his i used my dragon ball z data that i wanted to use and then let me see here for the requirements it was something else that i changed let me see if i can find it for you really quickly was it in the setup here yeah you can see i use my name here and my email address here instead of his name is his email address now again i'm not sure if that will affect it using my data i'm pretty sure the name shouldn't have anything to do with it because it's part of the setup so the name should be good it's just the data part that may cause a hiccup i don't know if it if it does i'll just change it back to the original but yeah i would like to use my own information since i wasn't able to build it along with them so yeah that's done there we have the uh we have the file over here and now we'll get help so we're ready to move forward and we have the AWS set up finally. Like I said, it took a while because there was a bunch of hiccups along the way, especially trying to track down that secret key that he left on there. So I downloaded, I deleted it, and we're going to move forward now. But of course, we will pick it up tomorrow and I will keep you posted every step of the way. But for now, it's the Python Poppy. You guys stay Gucci.